and the poor little guy was suspended in midair, and soon a few clansmen came over, cut the rope, grabbed the next stalk of the coyote, and put the rope on the coyote's head, and then the coyote was brought back by the clansmen to the tribe, and named it Tom. The coyote survived, and the chief would let it drag the wood every day for physical training. As time went by and Tom grew up, the wild nature of the wolf was revealed, and he terrorized the dogs wherever he went. He was so well trained that he could easily fish in the river now. Jack came to the tribe on this day, and happened to meet the grown-up Tom. Jack had a sense of deja vu. He walked up to reach out and touch it, did not expect Tom roared. He was startled. Luckily, the chief came over in time. In fact, Jack didn't mean any harm. He just wanted to make friends with Tom. The chief told him that wolves have no feelings and don't need friends at all. But it is on the contrary. Every night, Tom would come to the river alone, staring blankly at the forest in the distance, knowing that he could never go back to the wolf pack, and could only well to the forest alone.